How do we create this cool frosted glass effect in Rive? Okay, we're going to do that just now. So, on the new artboard, just create a rectangle. I just made the background light blue. You can make it any color you want. And then I'm just bringing up the corner radius. Then the color is going to be the same as the background because it's glass. And then press add another fill here. And we want a radial, a linear fill, but we want to change it so it's dark at the bottom and then light up there. Something like that. Then all we do here is we come here and where it says blend mode to inherit, just make it soft light. And then also make sure that your bottom color is black and your top color is white. So I'm just going to increase the opacity and bring that slider up. So, okay, that's perfect now. So now we've got our main, main shape. Then duplicate the shape. Call this one rim. And then for the rim, all you do is you just add a fill. Make it solid. Make it white. Add feathering. Make sure that your direction is set to inner. And then now you've got a nice rim light. Now you can just play, if you want it sharper, you just play with the amount. So if I make it two, you can see it's nice and sharp. Then these two, I group them together. Call this one top. Then I duplicate them. Call this one bottom. Okay, let's set up the bottom quickly. I'm just going to delete the rim. We don't need that for now gonna take the bottom and just bring it out up there and then I'm just gonna take selected colors here and I'm gonna make it give it this nice yellow color then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another fill solid fill and I'm just gonna give this one a feather I'm going to go and make it inner. So I'm just, I just want to sort of outline here. And then I'm going to change it from in, inherit to color burn, which is it's going to be nice. Now it's going to play nicely with our yellow colors. Other, otherwise, it's this ugly gray shadow that does not work. Okay, so that's our, that's basically our bottom shape. Then I'm going to duplicate this. And let's call this behind glass or whatever. And then for this one, now I'm just going to delete all of them except for the yellow color. I'm going to clip it. Going to go to the top here. So I'm going to clip it to main shape. So just make sure that you select main shape. Then... <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a draw order to have it, the target, to have it above the main shape. So now it's there above the main shape. And then all we need to do now is now we just go to this behind the glass and feather it. And then you see it creates this nice sort of effect. You can also go to the opacity and bring the opacity down a bit. And then you get this really, really cool effect. And then because everything's in a group here, it works together nicely. Now, if you want to even take it further, you can go to your main shape and just add another fill, put it at the bottom. Um, let's make, make it solid. I wish mine <laughs> went to solid by default. Then I'm just going to choose this color and okay, for this one, I'm going to just make sure that I choose or oh, choose maybe one of these colors. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to feather it. I'm going to offset it maybe a bit. 
and maybe something like that. This is going to be like our, like our, like our drop shadow. And then give it quite a large feathering. Maybe let's play, make it gray rather. And then inherit, let's use color burn again. And now we've got this nice ambient shadow. Now, if I want another shadow, which is more like a hard drop shadow, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the main shape again. I'm going to duplicate this guy here. And then I'm going to go into the tier and I'm just going to bring the amount down. So bring it down and bring the offset down again. Maybe just make it about five. And yeah, and then you can do the same to the other one, to the bottom one as well. So this, that's pretty quickly in a nutshell how you can create some really cool frosted glass effects.